Hey guys, it's Chris. Just wanted to put together a little review of the Grizzly G0771Z. Uh, this is a hybrid saw from Grizzly. <clears throat> this one comes pre-wired for 110. It is adaptable to 220. Uh, right now it's running on 110 and running very well on 110. So this saw comes with a one and three quarter horsepower motor, a 10 inch blade, which is obviously pretty standard for table saws. <clears throat> Solid cast iron top, uh, which is the main table, and then two uh, extensions. This is Grizzly's redesigned uh, fence system. It's kind of a mimic of the Shop Fox uh, T square fence system. Um, this one comes with a 32 inch right rip capacity. And uh, ignore the mess, so we're in the middle of cleaning right now. Um, so, 32 inch right rip capacity. And uh, I believe a 18 inch left rip capacity. I could be wrong there. It might be more like 12. Um, I've actually slid this fence over uh, one bolt hole. Uh, so I actually have a little bit more right rip capacity than what comes standard. Uh, it comes with two inserts. It comes with a standard insert and a dado slash bevel insert. Um, the adjustment's really nice. It's got a magnet in the front, a little clip in the back, and then five set screws uh, that are adjustable from the top. Two standard three quarter inch miter slots. Comes with a nice beefy miter gauge. Slide it in real quick. And you can kind of tell just by the size, it's heavy, it is um, nice and long, and it's milled really well. So when you put it in the slot, you can hear no play in that whatsoever. It's a really well milled miter gauge. Uh, very quiet saw, as with most cabinet style saws, it is very quiet. A hell of a lot quieter than the uh, Craftsman contractor saw that this replaced. And actually, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll flip it on real quick. So that's with the saw running. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I don't plan on dimming the uh, dimming the audio. So I mean, I'm talking just like I was. Very very quiet. Uh, very very smooth startup, and then. It's got a quick shutdown. There it is. So the blade stops spinning very quickly. Obviously, that's a safety feature, and it's a nice little feature to have when you're trying to, uh, you know, get through some cuts. Uh, adjustment wheels are cast aluminum adjustment wheels. That would be your uh, height adjustment, and then over there is the bevel adjustment. They're nice, they're big, uh, they've got big handles on them. Quick adjustments. It's really smooth operation. Really smooth operation. You get a very incremental adjustment. Which is a big thing for me. Uh, I really like the smoothness of it and unplug the saw. Pop open the cover, riving knife and blade guard, both have this little quick detach, reach in, pop it up, and there's some sawdust in there, but Standard riving knife, real riving knife. It is adjustable. I mean, you can put it to any height you prefer. When you pop it in, uh, I know some guys like their riving knives really high. Like 
that. I'm a fan of keeping it bottomed out in line with the blade. And then just a quick push that lever down and you lock in the rivet knife. Blade guard works the same way. Like I said, light the insert, quick in, quick out. Pops in really nicely. Um, as far as cutting power goes, it's not a three you saw a three quarter horsepower saw or a, a three horsepower saw and you kind of need to be aware of that um, yeah I've seen people complain about some of the cutting ability with this saw and, you know it doesn't compare to this saw you know, this saw and they're comparing it to a bunch of three horsepower saws a bunch of 220 uh, three volt three horsepower saws it's just not one it is a one and three quarter horsepower and it's 110 with that being said if we spin around that saw milled all the lumber for that that's um it's an entertainment center it's all uh, maple and the two doors are pine doors but that all started as a bunch of rough maple stock uh, equaled about 60 board feet and it cut through it beautifully uh, I did change the blade the blade that comes with it is obviously about as cheap as a blade as you can get as comes with most saws um, that is a 50 tooth combination uh, Diablo blade which uh, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of Diablo that's a fair price for those blades I think that one was about $40. Um, obviously, not as good as some, you know, $100 or $110 forest uh, blade, but it does the job, and it does it pretty well. Uh, dust collection. I don't have dust collection. But down there, you see a hole. Uh, that is where a 4-inch dust port connects to. To connect to dust collection, um, I really can't tell you much about it though. I, like I said, I don't have dust collection. So as far as assembly goes, saw goes together really easily. It comes packaged very well and the instructions uh, from Grizzly are top notch. Uh, there's really just no questions to be had while you're putting it together. Uh, it's in a really good order and everything was there from the start. Uh, ordered it on a, I want to say Tuesday shipped Wednesday afternoon and was at my local uh, UPS hub by Friday. Shipped from Missouri, I live in Maryland. So two days to get from Missouri to Maryland. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. So uh, that's pretty much all the features. Great saw, big fan of it. Uh, worthwhile investment paid uh, $795 for the saw and $109 for shipping. Uh, so pretty good deal in my eyes. Uh, so without further ado, we'll cut a piece of wood and uh, just so I can show you how it cuts. We'll cut something with the miter gauge since I'm kind of holding this in my hand. I don't want to be too stupid here. Miter gauge obviously is adjustable and it has its uh, built in stops. Just by pressing on that tab. We'll pop it to 90 degrees. I'm just got a piece of walnut laying here. So you can see what it does. One minor problem, I haven't milled out the miter slots in the off table yet, but just to show you, that is a one inch by one inch walnut, and if the camera will focus, you can see, pretty nice cut, and it goes through it pretty quickly, just a little bit of tear out there. Uh, but all in all guys, I definitely recommend it, 
Uh, if, if you if you're like me and a two thousand dollar saw was not in the budget, three thousand dollar saw was not in the budget. Um, and obviously you can kind of see I, I'm working with limited space here. Uh, I don't really think you can get much better than this. I looked around. Um, you know, trust me, I, I comparison shopped. Look at the big guys. All the other big guys, saw stop, uh, jet, paramatic, delta, and I could not find anything that matched this saw in quality, in um, capability, and in price. So if you're in the market, definitely give this one a look at. Uh, Grizzly G0771Z, 10-inch hybrid table saw. Uh, until next time, see you later.